welcome to Book Gallery. Today, I'm going to review the Mood Twisters Notebook. This is a dotted notebook. It means that it has dot grid pages. It contains 160 pages which are of A5 size with two satin bookmarks and an elastic band for grip with a pocket at the back. This notebook can be used for bullet journaling or any other such kind of work. It really depends upon you. If you do not know what a bullet journal is, please check it out. Now we are going to see the first page of this notebook. On this page, you can write your name and address if you wish to. Before going further, I want to tell you that the dots in this notebook are 0.5 cm or 5 mm apart from each other. Now this is the page. As I have told you earlier, these pages are 100 gsm thick, so they are not going to withstand heavy marker or watercolor paint uses and they go a little bit. Another point to note is that it is not a lay flat notebook. There is one other problem that I encounter that the grids on these pages are slightly displaced if we compare one page to another. So dividing your pages using grids won't work. Though these pages are only 100 gsm thick, they feel a lot thicker like a proper book. This notebook also has round edges. Now we'll take a look at the back of the notebook. There is a pocket at the back with this thank you card. This pocket can be used for putting essential documents or any other thing that you like. Now we are going to take a look at the front view of this notebook. The cover of the notebook is in a bright light pink color. But you can choose from a lot more color options. There is also a more premium range of notebooks by Mood Twisters available on the Amazon site. You can check it out. Now I will show you the round edges of this notebook. As you can see, the pages of this notebook have smooth round edges and so does the cover. Also, these notebooks have two satin bookmarks in black color. The price of the notebook starts from Rs. 370 onwards. You can buy this notebook on Amazon. And thanks for watching. See you soon.